Hi friends, this is Mayanak Misra and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I say the same prayer again that hope uh, during this corona pandemic time you and your family members are doing absolutely great. Today I will be discussing with you about a Spanish and Mexican film by none other than Alejandro Gonzalez Inaritu and the film is beautiful. Alejandro Gonzalez Inaritu depicts the dark side of bustling Barcelona through his beautiful film, beautiful. The film depicts the inner beauty of a faulty individual Uxbol who works as a middleman for the Chinese sweatshop owners and African origin peddlers. The fake merchandise produced at the sweatshop is sold on the streets of Barcelona. And Uxpol makes some money out of these illegal activities. But Uxpol is not a con man. He is not a bad person. His heart reaches out to the Chinese and African workers to help them. That is his only intention. And in the process, he makes some money. Uxpol's life is threatened when he is diagnosed with terminal prostate cancer. Beautiful is about Uxbal and his life. Now let me tell you the story of the film. The film starts with a whisper between Uxbal and his daughter Anna. And Uxpal is about to hand over a diamond ring to his daughter Anna. And that ring was given to his mother by his father when his father left Francoist Spain for Mexico. So Uxpal actually never met his father. But in the dream sequence, in the next scene, in the dream sequence, he meets his father in a wintry environment. But actually, in real life, he has never met his father. You know that during Franco's time in Spain, whosoever opposed his rule, that person was either killed or expelled. So Uxbal's father also left Franquist Spain for Mexico. Now let me tell you about Uxbal's family. So Uxbal has a son, Matteo, and a daughter, Anna. And he lives in a middle class apartment in Barcelona. He is separated from his estranged wife Marambra, who is alcoholic, clinically depressed, and has bipolar disorder, and, ox and also a sexually promiscuous woman. She works as a prostitute and even offers her service to Xpol's own brother Tito. Tito also works at a construction site, but wealthier than Uxbal. So this is about Uxbal family. Uxbal also, he is a spiritual person and he also works as a psychic medium to the diseased person. 
so he can convey the messages of the deceased person to their family members and also he helps the deceased persons in transforming from one life to the next life and suddenly as i mentioned earlier that uxbal's life is filled with impenetrable darkness when he is diagnosed with the terminal prostate cancer so he has only a few months to live in the meantime the african origin peddlers start peddling drugs they don't have the staying permit in spain on the above of that they are selling drugs so it is quite obvious that they will be captured and that happened they are brutally captured by the spanish police force and one of the peddlers ikweme is deported back to senegal and as you know that uxpal is a very generous person he offers some money to ikweme's wife ige and also offers her shelter in his own apartment with her son and in the meantime uxpal tries to reconcile with his wife maramra but that fails you know maramra is cannot be handled she behaves very bad with both matteo and anna she even tortures matteo she punishes matteo and uxpal sees that there is absolutely no point this relationship cannot be revived so maramra is denied of the custody of both the children the chinese workers are now out of work so uxwal tries to help them too he procured some work for the chinese workers at a construction site and the chinese workers stay in a basement area and the atmosphere is very chilling almost freezing so he wants to help them he buys some cheap heaters you know he was he also wants to make some money right that's how he makes his living but these cheap heaters turned out to be extremely deadly dangerous all the chinese workers in the basement are killed by the poisonous carbon monoxide emission out of those cheap heaters and they are killed on the spot uxwal is completely shattered and a, a human trafficker is hired to dispose of the bodies into the ocean but the plan fails because those dead bodies are washed up onto the shore creating a huge media sensation so uxpal thinks that he is responsible for both the arrest of the african workers as well as the death of chinese workers so he is he is completely broken he is shattered so he decides that whatever savings he has he will hand over those savings to ige and ige has also bonded well with both anna and matteo ige decides that she will use that fund for traveling back to senegal but later on 
she changes the plan and comes back to Uxbol. And when Uxbol is lying on the bed, a shadow appears behind the bathroom door. So this is such a you know heartwarming story. And after that, the first two scenes repeat that Uxbol is about to hand over the diamond ring to his daughter Anna. And in a dream sequence, he meets his father. So this is the story. Alejandro Gonzalez Inaritu always focuses on the lives of persons across nations. He is agonized by the situations of the people across the world. And this film is no exception. Here also you see that he has depicted the agony, the distressed situation of the African workers as well as the Chinese workers. A true artist is that person who can find out, point out the darkness amidst the light. Inaritu is able to find out that he shows the dark sides amidst the grandeur, amidst the, the lights, the beauty of Barcelona. And he also shows very important issues like corruption, illegal immigration, drug peddling, mental issues like bipolar disorder, clinical depression, even alcoholism. So he addresses multiple important issues through this film Beautiful. And he also shows the story of Zuxpal from the point of view of a person who is at the edge of life. When a person knows that he, he can no longer stay in this world, the beauty of this world appears before him like never before. That is the story of life. We understand the beauty, we understand the value proposition of this life. And beautiful clearly shows through the eyes, through the pains of Uxbal. This film is, you know, beautiful, all, will always be remembered for Javier Bardem. It is his film. There is not a single scene where Bardem has not reached the supreme level of excellence. He carries the pain of Uxbal through his acting, through his eyes. So no praise is enough for Javier Bardem for portraying the character of Uxbal. Maricel Alvarez as Marambra is brilliant. The way she portrays a lady with alcoholism, clinical depression, bipolar disorder, you know, very nice, amazing acting. One of the most important aspect of the film is Rodrigo Prito's cinematography. He truthfully captures the dark sides of the streets of Barcelona. He used a blue filter which adds extra flavor to the film. Mesmerizing cinematography, and especially the chase scenes where police officials chase the African peddlers. Brilliant, brilliant cinematography. Gustavo Santaolalla's music is brilliant too. Sometimes he used a single chord uh, guitar and sometimes uh, a complex orchestration. Both are brilliant. 
beautiful one a beautiful uh, competed in competition section of the 2010 Cannes Film Festival Javier Bardem won the best actor award in 2010 Cannes Film Festival it was nominated for best foreign language film and best actor at the 83rd academy awards it was nominated for best foreign language film at the 68th golden globe awards and multiple accolades acclaims worldwide so please watch this film and uh, i expect and hope you have already seen this film the request that i make every time that please support me please subscribe to my channel please press the bell icon so that you do not miss regular updates inspire me by commenting uh, encourage me uh, you know you are you are welcome uh, thank you so much for watching this video thank you and bye